Hello everybody, welcome back to the iTunes Fanboy, and in this video I am going to show you guys what's on my iPhone, because I have changed my iPhone home screen layout a lot since I last did one of these videos, which was in December 2021, and in case you're wondering why I'm not doing the video idea I had originally planned, which was on AirPods issues, the reason why I delayed that was because my bedroom is a total mess right now. So I effectively can't use the front camera and I don't, can't film videos with my face and I don't, not sure how to hide it exactly. Or I don't really know what else to do besides just this. In fact, I'll actually do, do a jump, jump cut so that way you can actually see what my room looks like right now because <laughs> parents were cleaning my closet, but Anyhow, let's get back to the main point of the video, which is what's on my iPhone. So, on this front page, I've got very basic apps, messages, calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, Apple TV, wallet, notes, reminders, stocks, iTunes store, app store, books, news, health, settings, phone, mail, safari, and music. And this is very similar to the iOS 9 home screen, default home screen layout, because I don't really like it on the newer iOS versions. Also, I just find this simpler. Obvious messages I use all the time though not quite as frequently on my phone calendar i don't really use on my phone photos i use on my photos and camera i use on my weather and clock i use on my phone all the time obviously because i don't really want to update my ipad to ipad os 16. in fact that's why my iphone is still running ios 15 speaking of which in case you're wondering what iphone is this is an 11, iphone 11 pro max i've got maps and apple tv i don't use either of those on my phone Wallet, again, not use. Notes I sometimes use on my phone, though not too often. Actually, I do use it sometimes on my phone. Reminders, again, I never use just because I find it. I don't really understand it, or I don't really understand the point of it. Stocks, again, and in case you can't tell by my voice, I'm 14, so I don't really need to care about the stock levels of anybody, any companies, just because... I'm not a stock investor. iTunes Store and App Store. iTunes Store I never use on my phone. The App Store I do use sometimes on my phone, though only when I need to download apps, obviously. Books and news, those are never used on my phone. Sometimes, if I find myself tempted by a widget, very rarely I'll click on a news article. That's pretty uncommon. Health, the health app I never use on my phone. Phone. Settings app I use on my phone all the time. Actually, phone the phone app I actually don't use because my phone, as you can tell, I don't have an actual phone number. So, yeah. That's actually why I don't use Apple Maps. It's because I don't have a phone number, and so that's what I just do. So, obviously I don't have cellular data then because I don't pay for cellular. Mail app I sometimes use on my phone, but not often. Safari I, again, sometimes, but not often. Music app I never use on my phone because, if you check, I have no music on my phone. Now, because the only time I listen to music is when I'm in my car, and then I just have my parents play music, whatever, because it's on their phone, so. Or, so yeah, that won't really have use for that. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube and YouTube Studio I always uh, you'll use pretty often on my phone, I will say, especially after I've taken photos, because I don't really use my iPad's camera for much. <coughs> Dual Jump I use on my phone, play on my phone sometimes if I'm ever, ever out and about, and I just need a little game past the time. It's literally the only game I have. Calculator I sometimes use on my phone, and not often, just because you usually... Whenever I need a calculator, I use I have one on my Apple Watch, so I don't need it on, really on my phone. I just use a iMovie. I don't use on my phone much anymore. I sometimes use this on my phone, though not often. I used to use it up until from January to March 2022 to edit every single one of my videos, though, and some of my earlier videos would be edited with it. With it, though, now I don't really edit an iMovie. I find more just because I find it better on my computer. But at the same time, I do miss the do miss iMovie on my phone sometimes. Roku app, Roku app I use on my phone 
all the time just because my iPhone feel it feels more natural using my phone as a remote than my iPad, especially because eh, Roku does not have an app for the iPad. Weatherbug I really only use in the summertime, and that is because summer t in the summertime there are a lot of storms, and I use and that and it does what Apple Weather doesn't, which is it lets me check the what is it lets me check how close the lightning strike is, which is very important for me. Uh, and I used to use it as radar back before iOS 15 came out, because before iOS 15 there was no radar in the default weather app. App, so yeah. Then on the third page, I have all my apples, all my other Apple apps. Pages, home, tips, numbers, FaceTime, find my test, light, keynote, files, shortcuts, podcast, feedback, fitness, watch, translate, voice memos, measure, compass, contacts. Pages I never use on my phone, just because why would you... Why would I bother typing documents on a phone? It's such a tiny, cramped keyboard. Home. The Home app, because I don't have any HomeKit accessories. I don't use home the Home app. Tips, I don't use because of it. Because I'm a tech enthusiast, and so I don't really need tips. And, and even if... By the way, if you do need tips on how to use your phone, you should totally go check out the Tips app. It's really handy. I used to use the Tips app more often on my iPad. iPad when it first came, when I first started using it in 2015, used it, and would sometimes use it until 2018. Just learn stuff though about my iPad. Though, though now I don't really use it. Numbers again, I never use on my phone. I don't really see a point to numbers right now, especially because I'm not an accountant or anything. FaceTime, I FaceTime, I again again. Don't usually use on my phone. On the rare occasion that I do use fa on the oca occasional occasion that I use FaceTime, I usually use my iPad. Actually, I do or FaceTime casually. I I FaceTime all the time on my MacBook for my podcast. Though, even then, we're planning on switching to another service, which I'm not go going to mention for confidential reasons. Find my. I sometimes use my, my iPhone just to navigate, just to find whatever I lose, my AirPods whenever I lose them, though. I also use my iPad for that. Test flight, I, again, mostly use on my phone just for keeping some very big, ba ba so, two beta applications I have. Or no, it's three. Keynote, again, never use on my phone just because it's tiny, it's tiny screen, even though it's 11 Pro Max, still... Doesn't feel as comfortable as on my iPad. Files app again, never use on my phone. Don't use that on my iPad either. Shortcuts, again, never use just because I know it has a lot of potential though. It's just that I don't really want to spend time customizing my phone, especially when it's already got the stuff I need. Podcasts again, never use on my phone just because I don't actually spend much time with listening or watching podcasts. I make my own podcasts, though I don't oh, I don't actually spend much time watching and listening to them. Feedback app, that is, that is actually because I installed the iOS beta block, iOS update blocker on my iPhone right before betaprofiles.com got shut down, so yeah, obviously I'm keeping that since I know I can't reinstall that. Apple Fitness app again. I don't use it on my phone just because I track all my fitness stats on my Apple Watch. The Watch app I don't use on my phone just because all my settings are usually on my Apple Watch. Or on my Apple Watch, so I don't really need it. The Translate app I don't really use often cause, just because, you know, on the rare occasion that I do translate languages, I'm usually on my MacBook, and so I have to use Google Translate for that. Voice memos I, again, yeah, never use on my phone because I don't really know who needs just because I don't really have much need for audio recordings. The Measure app I never use on my phone just because it's so inaccurate. The level tool is a little more accurate though. I don't usually need to level use a leveling tool. Compass app again. I know where I am so I don't really use that. The Contacts app I, ne I never use it on my phone because if there's a rare occasion that I do need to add or remove a contact, I'll just do it on my iPad. 
And then we get to the fourth page, which is all third-party apps that I don't don't use regularly. This includes Hohem Gimbal, which is the app for my gimbal that has such a terrible gimbal. Google Classroom, I downloaded it j once because I downloaded one, that once for my classroom, though now I don't really have a need for it. Google Maps, not sure why I have that, to be honest. Google Drive, sometimes I need to upload my podcast recordings to my other to one of my podcast hosts who edits it but even then i don't need but even then i mostly use youtube for that and make them unlisted so yeah this is actually just a web app for an ipod classic emulator it's really cool it has some games like brick which this is actually mimicking a six gen classic and yet it has brick on here which was only fifth iPod 5.5 and below, so that is a weird inconsistency, but also it doesn't look quite exact, and also you get more chances in this brick. And do you want a real iPod brick? So let's get out of brick. Lil, the Lil OS is supposed to be a little os that's designed around your phone it was created by the developer jordan singer though he appears to have mostly abandoned it because as you tell the little beta has expired this is old os this is old os which is obviously the ios one where i'm sure you've heard of it another old os old os 10 this time again still emulating ios 4 he has on Halo app, which I used to have an Amazon Halo View that I bought temporarily because I thought you had to have app because you had to have app watches turned off at my school though, and the Halo View was dumb enough so that way I could wear it though. Now they allow Apple watches in my school as long as they're not so so Apple watches. So obviously now I just wear my Apple Watch school. So I gave my Halo View to my dad, and he then lost it. Run Keeper. I downloaded it once on my iPhone 8 Plus, which is my previous main phone, because I need to track the steps for a school project on how many steps it took for me to run a mile. This is back when, for, when I was doing distance learning. And now, and even then, you can't use Run Keeper for that. And that was back when my Apple Watch was lost. That was actually, I think, in May of 2021. So, Samsung Eye Test is what you used to use for for emulating a Samsung Galaxy experience on your iPhone with stupid exper stupid ways to try to get you to switch to Samsung. Try Galaxy is the new one made for the S22. And look at this thing is emulation is so stupid I just downloaded it because why not or this is a web app so obviously Apple would never allow that in the app store Peacock is NBC's free streaming app that I downloaded back in 2020 just to try it out and eventually my mom signed up for it and she signed up for Peacock Premium my Peacock account which I don't even know if I still have it is is still on the free version so it's essentially i don't even know why i have it but what i do like how they changed the logo to be skeuomorphic that's a very nice touch that you don't see often nowadays lowest lantern is the app that i use to control my my strip lights in my room and my in my corner light love share is an app that i download for one of my flash drives that works with the iphone and the Mac. By the way, if you see any flash drives that work with your phone, they are a complete scam. Your phone is not designed to work with flash. No smartphone is designed to work properly with flash drives. Your phone is going to get so hot when doing that. Well, I guess that's it for what is on my home screen. I have all my apps on my home screen. I don't have any widgets because I don't really like widgets. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Please interact with stuff below. Excuse me, dislike button. And as always, I'm the iTunes fanboy, and peace out.